Well, hi, this is Custom Works. I'm Clint Allen. And as we work through our Power Stroke Cobra project, gonna hit down on something that you probably never even considered. For anybody here that just found this video or you're new to the community, you can head right down into the description and I have a full playlist of all the sensors that are on a 7.3 Power Stroke. We got a couple more to finish up on and it'll be a complete list, but either which way, we're 90% there. We've got our Tech Talk videos in a playlist. We've got other videos in a playlist that are very interesting. We're not making videos in our driveway with a cell phone here. So come join our community. The wiring that is on your 7.3 Power Stroke is something that when you're working, whether you're pulling out the transmission, transfer case, working on the engine itself, here is something that you should be doing. So I'm gonna bring you in real close here. So these vehicles being 20, 30 years old, you really need to go through and make sure that all the connections are making their connections. Anybody who's watched this channel for a long time knows that I'm a stickler on wiring harnesses. I'm also a stickler too about the connections. There's a lot going on here and over the years, all kinds of dust, debris, and all kinds of goodies get into these connections. So depending on the connection that you're working on, this one right here has a rubber, uh, rubber sealer so get, get your rubber sealer out of there. Let's get it some compressed air. Let's get it blown out. Here's the connector. Get that blown out. Mass airflow sensor cleaner. Don't hit the comments and go, well, what about this and that? I'm showing you right now, this is what you use. Get her in there. Get all that dust, debris, sand, wherever you are four wheel driving. Let's get that out of there. Hit that. So this is fast dry. Flashes really fast. So make sure that's dry. Then number two, we want to nail this with some deoxit. And uh, sometimes this camera doesn't focus, so this will be down uh, in the description. But either way, let's get some deoxit. Spray it down with some deoxit. This is going to take any type of varnish, any type of greening, and it's going to eliminate it. So we got the deoxid there, blow her out again. And if you have one of these for that particular sensor or for that particular plug-in, let's go ahead and get that cleaned up too. And we can use the we can use the mass cleaner for that. Get it all flashed off, get it all drived off. Put it back into your plug area. And then dielectrical grease. Once again, this camera doesn't focus, so I apologize for that. The other ones are charging. But either which way, let's not get crazy with this. Just a little Q-tip. A little bit on the end. And let's just get in right 
in the beginning here. Don't push it all the way down so it touches the connectors. Let's just give ourselves a little bit of safeguard here. And put her together. So there you have it. It's as simple as that. Probably something that you've skipped over your entire life maybe. Who knows. But either which way, the whole concept of here, getting it clean, making sure that the contacts are good, and making sure that any moisture stays out of that plug so you have a good contact going to your computer and there is no wishy-washy running going on or shifting going on in this case as far as the transmission. So I hope you've learned something today and you take it easy and you have a good day.